Hey YouTube, what is up? As Exacto would say. As you've seen in the video description already, today we're doing something unusual. We're unboxing an, a discontinued elderly Kershaw model. And, um, oh, and because I always talk a lot, uh, if you just want to see the unboxing, there is a, there's the link here, okay? Um, so if I'm when I'm saying it's a discontinued model, that's true, but it doesn't mean it's a rare or very fancy model. Instead, it's one of those uh, China-made Kershaws, right? And they are still making those, of course. In fact, they are making more different models now than they used to. This knife was discontinued maybe um, three or four years ago. This got soaked in the, in the mail yesterday, so I hope that's okay. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's going to be a bit unusual. You say, you could say, well, why don't you just buy a current one if they still make knives just like this with the same steel and the same length and everything. Well, I hope that this knife, uh, the Vapor 3 model number 1655, will be able to convince us that it uh, was good to hunt one down and buy it. Okay? Um, let's get right into it, right? Because, as I said, I always... Um, talk too much. I had lots of ideas uh, what I wanted to talk about, right? Justify my uh, my decision to buy this inexpensive knife. Um, the uh, the unboxing knife is the, the, uh, the butterfly from Exiled Cutlery, which has uh, grown quite fond, which I have grown fond of. Ah, these envelopes, man. Let's see. Um, yeah, so I could have justified why I only spent uh, a little money on an elderly knife and didn't buy something new. Or I could have told you a story how when I was but a wee lad, a teenager, I had another knife similar to this, full, full steel knife. But um, no, I'm not going to talk about those things. Oh, another wrapper inside the first wrapper. This might even be another envelope. Mm, let's see. Today's knife, wow, today's knife might actually be in a box. I know, exciting, right? Normally, oftentimes, we do knives that are not in boxes. Today, I, be I believe this knife is going to be in a box. Mm. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of packaging. But, there is a box. Yes, there is a box. Right, lots of packaging, eh? So, throw all this away. Oh, wow, that's a nice red box. Obviously, it's a Kershaw. On this side, there's nothing. It says here it's the Vapor 3, model number 1655. Nothing else. Um, a little bit of a tag here. Hmm. Okay, let's break right into it, eh? So... As I said, hopefully this knife can convince us. Oh, there's more wrapping. I don't think that uh, came standard either. Probably from the from the vendor. <laughs> Even wrapped um, the little pamphlet in paper. Okay, well, good stuff. So here we have a pamphlet. Um, operating instructions. But that's um, as far as I know. This features all kinds of uh, things that were that were available from Kershaw at the time. So right, um, liner locks and uh, and uh, and speed safe and lockbacks, all are featured here. Um, even though this may not um, apply to the knife you have. So right, obviously, this is not a, a lockback knife. Well, I know you now also know it's not a lockback knife. So, but still, it's featured here in this pamphlet. Okay, I mean, it's nice. It looks. Um, Looks a bit dated, right? These uh, IKEA-like um, um, pictures. Okay, fair enough. It's cute. Put that to the side too. And here we are now with the actual knife. Aha! And so, as I said, a full steel construction knife. Hmm. 
Um, you got a pocket clip here, which is really stiff. Wow. Um, wow. So this has to be adjusted somehow. Um, we'll have to take it off and bend it a little bit. This is ridiculous. Um, but okay. Nice beat blasted finish. A little bit. You know, need to need to get a little bit of rub here too. I hear some. Hmm, that's some. I think that's oil. Old oil. Okay, fair enough. Um, and so there are holes drilled all through it um, for for weight reduction and also for for looks, right? Um, and so this knife weighs 4.2 ounces. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's gonna. Hmm, no. No. This is going to need a little bit of oil, right? Has been in storage for a while. But, wow. Look. That's a nice line, don't you think? This knife has nice lines. With the holes and everything. I think that's pretty cool. And you see, right? The handle is bead blasted. The blade has the same finish on it. Um, making this, well nice gray knife and uh, I do like gray there's nothing uh, wrong with the color gray I feel um, I like it also what's nice that is that there is very little printed on the on the blade right it says Yakai which is the mother company of Kersha model number uh, Kersha here uh, you know not too small not too big that's all right um, and then we also have this um, nice classic drop point blade with uh, with uh, uh, some belly here in the front, um, and that's nice too. A lot of um, a lot of right now the trend seems to be for very pointy blades. I don't uh, I don't understand that. Why you know is that people who don't actually use their knives so much they have these really pointy blades um, because they don't have to be s uh, scared to uh, to snap them off. I don't know. So, hmm. you also see this knife is very thin, right? Because you only have the steel body here, um, and that's it. And the uh, flow through construction. And um, now you say, "Wow, that's a uh, that's skinny." You know, there's not lo not uh, not much on it. Where's the speed safe? Where's the flipper? Where are all the fancy features? Well, you're looking at it. You know, the fancy features are it has holes. Um, also, the blade shape is nice and it uh, runs on phosphor washers. There's no speed safe. There is a frame lock though. That was, um, that was still a selling point uh, three, four years ago, right? Mm, there weren't that many frame locks available. Uh, centering. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna put some oil on this real quick and then we'll, we'll see if, uh, if this has improved a little bit, okay? Right, and here we are again. So I've put some oil on the blade, which is now much smoother. You see, you know, it falls, which is um, no big deal because it's a heavy blade, right? Uh, I often see that in videos. People say, "Oh yeah, look how 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 it falls." Well, yeah, that's because it's a four millimeter blade on you know on a custom folder. Of course, it falls because the weight the blade weighs like a hundred grams. Obviously, it will fall. Um, <laughs> Anyway, now this is uh, much smoother. I hope I can do it now. Yeah. The thumb studs are really small. I don't, you know, they don't look too small now. If you, you fold this, and then maybe you notice, hmm, yeah, they are kind of smallish. So first of all, they're not very tall, um, but mainly they're not very wide. I don't know why this was uh, this was done. I mean, Maybe it's so that you can pull it from the pocket more easily, but uh, they could still have made them wider. Wouldn't that even have helped with uh, with uh, reducing friction instead of um, making it worse? I don't know. They're very small, and so you basically you gotta push forward on this in a in a strange fashion. Um, it takes a bit of practice. I've read that also in Amazon reviews about this knife, and so yeah. This is the Kershaw Vapor 3. I think.
pretty cool blade. Thanks for watching.